are at Biostock Investor Meeting in Stockholm and with me I have Lupum CEO Einar Pontén. Welcome Einar. Thank you. Uh, could you first tell us a bit about your target molecule and its impact in inflammations? Well, uh, I mean, the, the target molecule is a protein that was discovered by Lipum founders uh, 50 years ago. But then it was its role in the nutrition of newborn children from breastfeeding. But uh, much later they found out that this protein molecule called BSSL is also in the circulation and it's involved in, and stimulates inflammatory processes. And when they discovered that, they showed in, in various kinds of preclinical studies that by inhibiting the activity of this protein molecule BSL, it was possible also to stop the inflammation. So uh, I, I don't know if that was the answer of the question, but uh, the role of BSL is that it stimulates inflammation. You're soon entering clinical phase with Sol 116. How big step is this for? Okay, it's gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> now, but <clears throat> of course, any any company in, in our sector could be in the preclinical phase uh, because the preclinical phase could simply be that you have an ID and a patent and that you are working now and then. But when you enter into clinical stage, then you need to have well-documented manufacturing method of your lead candidate. And the lead candidate had been subject to a toxicological program that you shown that it is no adverse effects are expected. And, and beside that, you need to have a very good preclinical documentation that motivates the clinical trial, that makes it reasonable to do it. You have reason to believe that it will actually work. In our case, our focus is in the first instance, rheumatoid arthritis. And what distinguishes your candidate from already marketed drugs in rheumatoid arthritis? No, well, I, I should say that our lead candidate is a, a fully humanized monoclonal antibody. And today that's a, a lot of standard technology to, to develop a cell line that produces a, a, an antibody for therapeutic use. So the, the uniqueness of LIPAM is that we have identified a new target molecule and that our lead candidate is directed towards this uh, molecule. And that, that will mean that we have a different mode of action compared to today's drugs. And it's well established, well known that today's uh, more advanced biologics, they have limitations that certain patients are not helped at all and a relatively large portion of the patients have insufficient help of these biologicals. So there is a need of something that have a different mode of action. And that is what we will provide with SOL 116. And we will meet you in November again at Biostock Life Science Summit. What would you hope to have achieved by then? <laughs> it's a tricky question now, but following our plans and what we have communicated all the time is that we should start our phase one study during the fall. Uh, of course, in November it's still fall, but uh, on my wish list is, of course, that we have started the study. Uh, and that is a safety study then, as a phase one study normally are. But also in this, uh, be beside the safety and the pharmacokinetics, we also have a, an, uh, an explorative objective. So we intend to monitor uh, inflammatory biomarkers and also the target molecule. Uh, and that on not only healthy volunteers, but also on RA patients, because we will include uh, one group of RA patients in that study. And, and then uh, that's, um, that's very great because it will provide us internally with a lot of valuable knowledge in the planning of forthcoming studies and also hopefully some more understanding on the mode of action. Interesting. And thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you.